KD here with a very short uh, video instruction about the small problem I experienced a couple of times now and I know now a very simple fix. Um, it's not even a fix, it's just a change, uh, changing something in the settings. But because I experienced this before uh, and I had to search a little bit to find an answer for it, I thought I will do a this short video instruction how to solve it so if someone uh, gets on this video I hope I can help him so the problem I experience is that if you have uh, a skeletal mesh or anything like that sometimes when you go very close with the camera um, the skeletal mesh will disappear I can show you that here right now so when we look at the smaller guy here, um, he has a squirrel on the head, head and the squirrel is right now eating a nut. And right now you see it, when I go a little bit closer it immediately disappears and you only see the nut floating up here. If you go back, he appears again. So if you have this problem, here is how you can solve it. You go into the actor for the desert squirrel here. Here, this is the actor, um, and here is the reason why I stumbled over this problem before and right now is because the anima um, he's animated right now, and we see down here is the capsule component. So because of the animation, he is out of the capsule component, and every time this is the case. I experienced this disappearance of the skeleton mesh. That doesn't mean there is another reason, um, that there could be another reason for this happening. So now we know that we of course could go back into the animation and change the animation so we won't go out of the capsule component. But that's a little bit more complicated and there is a much easier fix uh, and you don't have to think about this problem here. And if you go to the mesh for our squirrel and we go into the detail panel and scroll down until we find rendering here and then we press on the advanced settings and almost at the end we find bounce scale. And if we put the scale up now from 1 to a higher number, um, the a number you have to find out which number for you is the best uh, depends on how big or how small your um, skeleton mesh is. <clears throat> Let's compile this and then that's actually all you have to do is um, making this number higher. Now when we go closer you see he doesn't disappear and I can't go really really close to him and look at him without him disappearing and that's all you have to do is really just change this uh, boundaries uh, this, the bound scales um, making it higher one thing I have to tell you is if you have multiple skeleton mesh so right now the nut itself is also skeleton mesh that is connected to the armature of this guy and also animated and here I also had to change the uh, bounce scale for it otherwise the knot will disappear so that means you have to for, for every skeletal mesh you have in here you have to set the bounce scale if they disappear <clears throat> um, you see now I ha had to get higher with this one I don't really know why but I went on 30 and 30 wasn't enough so I just put some zeros back and now it works so a small warning i don't know if this is a some if there is a problem if you just choose a very high number maybe there are some performance issues when you do it with a lot of meshes uh and just do a really high number i couldn't find anything any documentation or anything that told me that this is a problem or not i'm just telling you so maybe you want to go to the uh test it out and just search for the lowest number um you can find that and it still works and that's yes that's everything that's the, the whole fix so
Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm working right now on a turn-based uh, RPG. It's a game I'm building myself from scratch. I'm doing the models, the animations, the textures, and of course the scripting and everything myself. You can check it out on itch.io or on GameShow. The links are in the description. There is a demo version that is focusing on the combat system and the progression system. And you can download it for free and feedback is always welcome. Thank you.